Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Lavanya Vaishnavi. Today I am going to discuss about communication simulink toolbox. In this, we are going to discuss the very first experiment which is modulation and demodulation of random binary data stream using 16-bit quadrature amplitude multiplexing. <coughs> Coming to the block diagram. In the block diagram, so we have a uh, integer number a random number which has to be modulated so which has to be modulated using a 16 bit quam and it is transferred through a additive white gaussian noise channel and then again it is demodulated using the same quam technique finally we calculate the error and the error is displayed using the displayed unit and we have another block which is called a scope which is used to display the input and output sinusoidal waveforms. So, let us go back to the tool which is MATLAB. <coughs> In the MATLAB, go to home, click on Simulink library. Once you click on the Simulink library, you can see a Simulink library browser has opened. In this, go to file, new, uh, new model or else directly click on this new model button to open a new worksheet. So in this sheet, first thing I'm going to save it as so it's a quam. So quam 16 I'll give and the click on save. As we discussed, we need random integer quam AWGN and other blocks here. For to add these blocks, go to this library, click on the library browser and start searching for each block. First, I need the random number. So, REAN DOM random integer I will take. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, integer. Here is the random integer. Random integer generator. Right click on this and click on add to quam. Otherwise, control I to add it to your sheet. So you can see it has been added. Now go back and add the next block which is QAM. In the QAM I need both modulator and demodulator which is rectangular. So I have rectangular demodulator added, rectangular modulator right click and add it. Next step is to add additive white Gaussian noise. So AWGN and search. Here we got additive white Gaussian noise. Right click add to 16 QAM. And finally I need to calculate the error. So error rate I will type and search. I got error rate calculator. So right click add to quam. To display the result I need two blocks which are scope that is oscilloscope. So I have several scope here. Let me add the very first one which is in Simulink. And the next one is display. Enter. Oh, Display. D-I-S-P-L-A-Y. And uh, right click. Add. You can see all the blocks are overlapped one upon the other. Slowly I will drag and drop each of the block here. So here you can see this is a random integer and a rectangular quam. Just I will press the space bar to enlarge the display. Now I will start connecting each other rectangular quam to random integer, AWGN to rectangular. Then uh, from the demodulator I will connect AWGN. Then from the receiver I will connect, connect this error calculator and the transmitter I will connect back to this random integer. Now. I have the display which helps me to display the resultant value but error calculator sends its display to the workspace. I don't want workspace here. I want to display on the port. So I'll click on port here and click OK. So we can see a new output port has been developed. So connect it. Done. Next is scope. 
In the scope, I want to see both input and output waveforms. For that, I'll take the output uh, or uh, input of this and connect to input. Double click on the scope. One second, let me run it. <coughs> Double click on the scope. Here, go to settings. Number of axes, select it as 2 because I need 2 inputs to be plotted. Close it. So, you can see the other one is already available. So, that has to be connected to the output. Now, output I have connected. Display, I have, uh, so here I will be having 3 values to display. So, I am taking all the 3 values here. So, let me give the parameters according to my design. So, random integer generator. Because I am using quadrature amplitude multiplexing, I will take M array number as 4. So, let all other parameters be as it is and click on OK. Now, go, coming back to the rectangular. So, input type, let it be integer, gray. Let uh, normalized uh, method, I will take average instead of going with others. The same thing I will follow for the demodulator. So, let me take average power and uh, click on OK. Additive white Gaussian noise. I have signal to noise ratio E B by N naught. Let me simplify it with signal to noise ratio as 10 dB. Okay. So, this is all the basic settings I am going to make. Then click on simulate or run. So, once you hear this noise, you can see the output displayed here. And also double click on the scope to see the output. So, this is fit which fits the output. And one more thing I did not mention. In random integer, <coughs> sample time, in random integer, the sample time, I am changing it to 0 0.001 and click on OK. So, let me run it now. So, I got the values. Double click on scope. So, you, have, you are getting the output. Click on auto scale and select this X scale and only select a small portion like this. So, here you can see the input and output waveforms of the given design. So, here I can even label them. <coughs> so, these are the input and output waveforms. So, and this is the output display. So, the very first value here represents So, the very first value in the display represents the bit error rate. The next one is number of errors and the last one is samples uh, that are compared during this experiment. So, it is R, N, S value. It is a vector what we are getting from the error display. Now, coming back, coming back to the squam. So, I can change the value of SNR to 5 and uh, measure the bit error rate again. Okay. So, this is one method or uh, this is one way of changing and varying the value and also I can increase the simulation time. I am having 10 seconds here. Let me make it 100 seconds and run it. 
so these are the different values you get okay so this is the last value you are getting for 100 seconds so like this i can vary the time and simulate the output i can also vary the gain so the signal to noise ratio to the negative value and also i can calculate it like this you are going to vary that and uh, finally write down or uh, tabulate the result of r n s values thank you thank you for sparing your time please like the video if you have understood share and subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts you can ping me in the comment section thank you